Good morning from Merzuga. Uh, it's the fourth race day and uh, well, we had a rough night. <laughs> it was stormy again. When we arrived it was still a beautiful weather and then uh, one hour later I think <laughs> the sand uh, almost blew away our tent. But uh, yeah, we hold, <laughs> held the all the tents back down with all of the team to save the photon and our sleeping places. And during the night it got a little calmer so that we could sleep. Um, yeah, a little bit of action in the evening. Uh, we are really happy that there was no action with the photon. Uh, next to it, it, just driving beautifully all of the third stage. And so now we are starting the fourth stage. It's going back to Zagora. We're going. Uh, through an elevation of 1,500 meters up and about 1,400 meters back down. Uh, so a lot of work for our electric components. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Keep on heading if you want, I drive it like a I don't wanna hear you, just get down, I don't know Like I'm Bengo, cutting my hair I just keep going though, so she's gonna make me I fly non-stop, Kelly is a New York Put on with a on, dry bottom, riding birds Honey berry, counting gobs, I do what I wanna do Good night, money won, none and cool Kuzi, my mama, she just Alright, now we're standing at our first stop for today We're charging the battery in the sun looks quite beautiful if you if you ask me but I uh, will take the opportunity because the race convoy is standing to ask Timon what's actually happening inside our strategy car yeah so inside our strategy car there's the uh, yeah. driving strategy and uh, positioned in the rear and there and me um, and our communicators so the main task is to determine how fast can our solar car go without running out of battery and like it's always a balance because we need to see in our telemetry um, how much energy do we get from the sun and how much energy energy do we use for driving and then we need to determine the perfect speed for our solar car and on top of that we need to communicate with the driver and see if he, if he feels well and if he's um, doing okay nice and um, how is the communication like how, how do we communicate with the driver and with the lead for example and what's the 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 like what's the lead doing in the racing convoy? Why do we have two cars in front of and in, in, in the back of the car? It's in the regulations and it's for safety. So the a solar car is like basically surrounded. One car protects it from the front, one from the back. Um, and then like other passengers or other cars on the road can clearly see, oh, there's a special vehicle coming. And um, because we all have these special lights on top as well. Um, and yeah, we have two channels to communicate. One is the 70. On the 70, every other team can uh, call us and say, hey, uh, we want to overtake you, or we can call other teams and say, hey, we want to overtake you. Um, and then we have the driver um, channel, where only the lead car, the chase car, and the driver communicate, so that the driver gets only the information necessary for him and nothing unnecessary. Yes. And that's, for example, when you see our, our whole race convoy from behind and you see that 70 in the back that explains why it's in the back so the other teams know which channel they can contact us if they want to know something from our race convoy yeah um, nice thank you so much no problem <laughs> Right now we found a really beautiful spot right next to the course and we had to stop to give you the next update for this day. Um, right after we stopped for charging, we noticed uh, that something in our suspension system was a little loose. We could have gone further with it, so it was all functional, but we decided for reasons of safety that uh, we wanted to repair it. Uh, and that's what we did. So we were standing another hour uh, to repair the car which obviously uh, well, destroyed our ambition for today a little bit. But to, to give the good, <laughs> the good uh, news on that is that the battery is, is well loaded now so that we can push on very fast now. But also to keep enough power in the battery that we can uh, for 100% keep driving tomorrow as the last day of the race to reach Agadir on our own wheels. That's very important for us. So we're gonna see how far we can go before we have to trailer or if we have to trailer, this is all still in the, in the hands of our strategy team you just saw earlier. And um, yeah, we're, looking still, we're still looking forward to, to this day. 
and see the see the photon in a safe way driving again. This was our fourth race day. Uh, as I've spoiled before, we are thinking about treadering and as you can see behind me, we are treadering today just to make sure we're really gonna get through the day tomorrow. The rest of this day was good. We had a really, really high speed and we, we drove uh, at, at the points where it was allowed uh, 100 kilometers per, per hour, which was quite cool to see the car going that fast. And um, yeah, I think also we took the right decision to repair the damage that we saw. It wasn't too crucial, the car was running even with that damage, but it was just safer for our drivers, so this was just uh, the right call to, to, to make. And um, yeah, even though it costs us the day, um, normally we would have made the stage uh, up until the camp with the photon like we did yesterday easily. With our decision today, this is not possible, but like this, we're sure we're gonna go through tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's a wrap for today. We're gonna get into camp and uh, have a good evening. <laughs> See you tomorrow.